as I thought I could afford to take the risk and take the chance. I do not know who I thought I was fooling. I must have felt invincible in your arms, like I could take the whole world on. But it's easier. It's a weird thing for me for the Queen of Denmark tour to be over because it's been going on for so long now, and I've been doing it for you know, going on two years now. And so it's all I've been doing. And um, so I'm in my second day of the reality of that being over now. And it's, it's a really weird feeling. On my album that I'm writing right now, I have the concept for each song. And then I start to actually write the song. Sometimes you get a song like Queen of Denmark, that was a song that I just spat out in five minutes. But that's the exception that those songs happen like that. And there's maybe one or two of those songs per album. And the rest of them require that you sort of hold them, <laughs> you know, scold them and, and, and deal with them for a while before they turn into what they're gonna, going to be. There's a new song uh, that I've been playing recently at shows called Vietnam. It's one of the first songs that I've written for the new album that deals with the breakup of the relationship that I wrote about in Queen of Denmark. Uh, you know, this song Vietnam is about how you can crush somebody by simply not responding to them in a time when they really need a response. And the thing that I'm expressing in that song is the pain of watching somebody fall out of love with you and knowing that there's nothing you can do about it. I'm excited about how it's going to be on the record, about adding string sections. It's going to be a song that lends itself well to having strings and maybe some horns and one that's going to be very quiet and then swell up into this big John Barry, James Bond type thing and then, and then you know, go back down to nothing again. And well, the chorus of Vietnam is your silence is a weapon. It's like a nuclear bomb. It's like the Agent Orange they used to use in Vietnam. And it's accompanied by an apathy which is deafening to the ear. You know it is complete and perfect and you wield it without fear. So I think that describes what happens during that process of annihilating somebody by showing them just how little their emotions matter to you because they're not even worth responding to. Don't you think that's devastating? Oh. <laughs>